so we've we've done a good job of tying up a lot of loose ends and really defining some terms very carefully and specifically, which is great. The one thing that we haven't really looked at yet is some of the code we had from the very beginning of this class when we were first playing with turtles is we'd somehow tell our turtle here to do things like change its pen color, put the pen down, move forward 50 steps. This idea of invoking methods, um, we've talked about a little bit, but we haven't really dived into the, the details of the syntax. So now that we have a better understanding of what variables are, and what objects are and object references are, I want to take a deeper look at methods. So let's start with a simple example here, crush dot pen down. And we'll add a comment block above it, slash star enter. And let's look more at all the aspects of the syntax of invoking a method. So when invoking methods, we use the dot operator, and by that I literally mean that period, to invoke a method on an object. We started talking about operators yesterday, and we'll talk a lot more about operators in the future. So we're most familiar with operators like addition, subtraction, um, but this is the dot operator. It too has operands, namely a, a variable whose value is a reference to an object and the method. Um, it performs an operation by invoking the method um, and it may return a value. Um, so it's, it, yes, it's an operator similar to a addition or subtraction. So that, that's, the dot is, a, is an important operator. That's how we know on which object, the one referenced by this variable, we're gonna invoke the method. The parentheses are important too. So some methods like pen down here, they take no arguments. Remember arguments are the additional information we need to pass. So the object knows what to do. Um, even if there are no arguments, we still have parentheses. Thanks. like pen down here. So we rely upon the context clues of the dot operator and the parentheses to know that pen down is a method, but the Java compiler relies upon the same clues. Um, the way it knows that pen down is a method and not something else is because of the dot before it and the parentheses after it. That's an important, an important part. Um, we have other methods. Let's do another example. Crush dot forward 25. We've written code like this before. Um, and so for completeness, some methods take one or more arguments. Like forward here. Multiple arguments, if there are multiple arguments, they are separated by commas, just like in Python. And we'll see an example of that later today. All right, so, so far, um, our turtle has put the pen down, it's taken 25 steps forward, Let's change pen color. So let's do crush dot set pen color. And we'll do color dot red is one way to specify the color red. And then let's go forward some more. Cool. All of these methods pen down forward set pen color, they, they change the object. They change the turtle object. They change the value of one or more attributes of the turtle. Or at least they may change the value of one or more attributes of the turtle. Yeah, question. Um, is the start a 
in color dot red doing an operation? Um, it is, but it's not calling a method. So we don't yet understand what this red thing is. It's not a method because there's no parentheses after it. Um, but you're right to notice that there's still the dot piece there. Um, we're gonna just like live with that till the next unit. <laughs> Uh, but it, it will certainly make more sense. Yeah. I kind of just want to show you an example of how you can specify a color because we're going to want to do that like later in our lab. So. So methods that change the value of one or more attributes in an object, we give a special name to all of those methods to help classify them. And we call them mutator methods. So mutator methods modify the state by state that's a fancy way of saying values of attributes so mutator methods modify the state of the object or at least have the potential to modify the state of the object so all of these methods pen down forward set pen color they all are mutator methods so pen down, the pen is now down. Maybe it was up before. Forward, the turtle is now in a different position. Set pen color, the pen color has changed. Those are all mutator methods. Think of mutator methods as mutator methods mutate the object. They change it in some way. Not all methods are mutator methods, okay? Sometimes we don't want to change the state of an object. Sometimes we just want to query something about the object. We want to get the value of one of its attributes. And so we can do that with a method like get pen width. We still, it's still a method. We still call it on the variable. We still got the dot. We still have the parentheses. It doesn't take any arguments. Um, we don't need to specify any additional information, but that method does return a value, which we can then store in a variable. So we can create a new variable and declare it as type int and call it pen width, and then use the assignment operator to store the value returned from the method in the variable. So the value stored in the pen width variable is going to be the current pen width of the turtle referenced by the crush. We give these methods special names too. We call them accessor methods. Accessor methods return the value of an attribute of the object. The state of the object does not change. Does not change the object. Get pen width is an accessor method. Certainly not always, but often accessor methods start with the word get, like get pen width. Um, sometimes they're even called getter methods because they start with the word get so much. Yeah, yeah. Um, and in fact, mutator methods are sometimes called setters. It's not quite as common as we can see here, but a lot of mutator methods start with the word set, like set pen color. Let's say you wanted to like run a, a very simple code to like add, add, the, add up whatever the value is, like a simple red, the pen width. If you run something like get pen, get pen width and then add pen to like, It's absolutely how you do that. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Ooh, that is such a good question. Um, so part of strong object-oriented design is the idea of um, encapsulation. Um, and, and related to this idea of encapsulation is that we want to like 
protect the data represented by our objects and have control over how it's modified. By adding this level of indirection by having a method like set pen with, that provides that layer of indirection gives us some control, um, which can be really advantageous. So best practices say, let's not let other code directly change the attributes. Let's make everything have to use a method. Um, and we'll go into details with that in our next unit when we write our own classes. Um, but that's one of our like design principles. Great question. Other questions about methods? Um, so I noticed how like with pen down, the pen is lowercase, but then when it's get pen with, it's uppercase. Like why? Oh, yeah. Great question. So when it comes to methods, the very first letter is always going to be lowercase, okay. regardless of what it is. Uh -huh. And then each subsequent word will make uppercase because it makes it easier to read. Uh, okay. So it's only because this starts with get as opposed to here it starts with pen. Okay. Yep. You. 